Hi, I'm Rob, and today we're going to talk about what a sprint is in Scrum. Sprints are the heartbeat of Scrum. It's where ideas are turned into value. Each sprint starts one after another. They're a fixed length to create consistency. All the work necessary to complete a product goal is done within one sprint, including all five events, sprint planning, daily scrum, sprint review, and the sprint retrospective. All sprints come one after another, and there's no time in between sprints. Time. What time do you think we have? During the sprint, no changes would occur that might endanger the sprint goal. Quality does not decrease. The product backlog is refined as needed, and scope may be clarified and renegotiated as more is learned. Sprints enable predictability by ensuring that every calendar month, we're inspecting progress towards the product goal. When a sprint's horizon is too long, complexity may increase, things may change, and your sprint goal might even become invalid. Shorter sprints can be employed to generate more learning cycles and help reduce the risk even further. You could even consider each sprint a short project. Various practices help us to forecast progress, including burn up or burn down charts and cumulative flow diagrams. While they might be powerful, they do not replace empiricism. In complex environments, what will happen is often unknown. Only what has happened may be used for forward looking decision making. One last thing, a sprint goal could be canceled if it's determined to be obsolete. Only the product owner has the authority to cancel the sprint. Now, what does all this mean? We've got these sprints, they're a fixed length, 30 days or less. Why is it the case? So we're trying to eliminate risk, or at least mitigate most of the risk due to product development by getting to a short goal very, very quickly. At every completion point, we can pivot, we can continue forward, we can change direction, uh, we can make changes to the product backlog. These sprints enable agility. These sprints help us contain the risk of product development. So when considering your sprint, make sure that you're getting all the work necessary to get to a done state within that sprint. Done was over hunger and I was over done. Producing an increment is the whole point of Scrum and the whole point of each sprint. So use each sprint to your advantage. Get some done increments, mitigate some risk, generate some value. Your stakeholders will love you for it. If you like this video, consider subscribing. Better yet, hit the bell for notifications on our upcoming videos. And if you like the video, just hit that like button. We really appreciate it.